What's going on everybody? So I am back with another property walkthrough video tour and we are at a beautiful open house right now over in the Grand Haven gated community here in Flagler County, Florida. I'm sitting in a beautiful four bed, three bath home. It is absolutely stunning. I'm sitting right now in the little office nook off to the front when you walk in the front door. But I just wanted to come to you guys and show you guys an amazing house. We're about to go check it out. Stay tuned and let's go check this beautiful home out. So check it out. So this is what I was talking about. So right here, we'll start it off in the front of the house as soon as you walk in the front door. You got your front door right here, which leads out to your road. <clears throat> now right behind me, this is where I was sitting before. So this is where when I started the video, you got your nice, the current owners, they have it set up right now as a little office area. But I mean, you could really do whatever you want in here. You could have a little TV, a little parlor area, you know, have a nice couch, love seat, whatever it is you want to do. Maybe in the holidays, toss your Christmas tree up in there. And then it's a really flexible area. You could really do whatever you want with this area. But it's very open, as you can see. You have this awesome, you put a beautiful rug down here, just like the current owners have. But this house is just spectacular. And I'm gonna take you guys through every single room, every single nook and cranny of this house and show you just how amazing this house actually is. So now we flip the camera around and this is the other side. And we walk in the front door, off to your right hand side, you have the living, or not living room, you have the dining room, which is very open, very spacious. This is where you can have your holiday dinners because there's also another area that we'll get to where you can have you know, your little breakfast, but this is going to be your main dining room area. You could have a very nice size table in here. I mean, this one right here, this, uh, this is table is going to sit six people. And I mean, you can put an even bigger table in here if you had a bigger family or you have bigger events or bigger, you know, dinners that you like to have. But this covers the front area of the house. You got your little office flex area off to the left, off to the right. You got your dining room, and now we're gonna check out the rest of the house. Living room, kitchen, master bedroom, master bathroom, which is my favorite part. And we'll go out back, check that out. Let's go look. So in here you got guest bedroom number one. Very nice size, as you can see right now they have a full size bed in here with a TV nightstand and it fits perfectly. You got your double door closet over there. And what's really cool about this guest room is you have in here its own little bathroom. So you know if you have family here, anybody, and this also leads into the second guest bathroom. So this side of the house, they can share a bathroom. Look at the beautiful tiling in the shower here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Very nice size bathroom, and that'll bring us over into guest bedroom number two. Similar size to the other one, double door closet. They have a full size bed in here, TV, nightstand, dresser, and it fits wonderfully. Now we'll go back out and check out the rest of this beautiful house. This is another room in the house. This is right going to be right when you walk outside of those two guest bedrooms you were just in. It's another flex area that they have as a little den family area. They have this beautiful furniture put here so it gives you an idea of what this room would look like if you were to keep it the same. They have another TV in here. They got a little game system down there. So this could honestly, you know, you got the adults hanging out in the main living room. You could have your kids hanging out over here with their own TV game system. Just very spacious, open. And this house has so much more space. And we're going to go check it out. Over here, we got guest bedroom number three. Very similar size. All three of those guest rooms are very similar in size as they kind of circle around this portion of the house. That's the second one over there. Behind that is the first one. This is that area I was just in, that little flex. Could be a kid's living room, play area, whatever you want. And then boom, guest bedroom number three. You got your full-size bed, dresser, nightstand, with a TV set up, and it fits all very adequately, very nice. And now let's go over here. You got your second guest bathroom. This right here is going to go right out back. Let's open this door up. It's going to bring you right out back to this gorgeous patio. That's going to go back off into your kitchen. But we'll just pan around here real quick just so you guys can see it's very quiet out here. You have this little nature buffer zone right in the middle over there that's gonna separate you from your neighbors across the way. 
Let's go back inside and check out the rest of this house. Now this over here, this is a beautiful area of the home. This is gonna be smack in the middle of the home. This is the main living room area behind the camera there, which we'll flip it around in a second. That's gonna be your kitchen, which is also massive. If you're someone who loves to cook, this is a kitchen that you would have a field day in. But living room area, it's very nice, very open. They have their TV set up so you can really get an idea of what this would look like. And this is an adequate size TV. I'd say this is probably about a 55 inch TV. You got your two couches. I mean, this is just, it's so open, it's so nice, it's so inviting. Like there's almost, it's like you kind of get lost. It's just, it's a beautiful home. Everything is just so modern, it's so cozy feeling. And this living room just kind of ties it all together. It's like the heart of the house. You have your master bedroom over there, the rest of your guest bedrooms over here. You have your little kids' living room area, flex room over there, and then right in the middle, you have your living room kitchen. It's very open. If you have a party, Super Bowl party, whatever you got going on, you can cook over here, watch your TV over here, entertain your guests behind me. And then over here, we have our little kitchenette area with the kitchen behind, but let's spin it around and let's take a look at that. So, as I was saying in the last video, <clears throat> over here, this is gonna be your little morning coffee, little smaller eating area. They have a nice little high top table here. You could put a little circular table, but this would be kind of a nice morning coffee area. You look out back, you got the trees, the nature, very nice natural sunlight that comes right in. If it's sunny out, you don't even really need the lights on in the house. Everything in the house is, very, is painted very light, and you get the light coming in through the windows here. Very nice, very beautiful. And all these areas, in this house, especially in the main living areas, it's all open, it's very connected and together so you don't feel crammed. Like you could be sitting here, like if you're entertaining people and have a party, you could be in the kitchen and you can talk to people that are here and in your living room without having to go in any other rooms or look behind anything or you, everything is just open and it's connected. But I'm gonna flip it around and show you this awesome kitchen, which is an awesome feature for anybody who loves to cook. It's got an island in the middle, you know what? Let me just flip it around and show you guys. All right, guys, so I told you this kitchen is awesome. Anybody who likes to cook or even semi likes to cook, like if you don't like to cook, this kitchen will make you wanna cook because it's open, it's big, you have so much space to cook a lot of different things, host a lot of different events and parties. And I keep saying host parties because I like to have people over and if I owned this house, it would, I would have people over every weekend because there's just so much space to have people in and not feel crammed. And the space management in this house is just, it's positioned perfectly. You got your four burner stove, microwave, relatively new appliances, stainless steel appliances. You got your little pantry over here, which I'm a big fan of these kind of pantries. They put them in the corner of kitchens and they really offer a very adequate space for kitchen pantry storage. So you can really keep a lot of stuff organized and in one place instead of all over in different, you know, cupboards. You got a lot of cabinetry here, a lot of drawers, a lot of under the counter cabinetry. So there's just so many different areas you can have stuff stored at. And then my favorite feature of any kitchen is this right here. You got the nice granite countertops. But this island in the middle, if you're prepping food or you're cooking, you know, multiple meals, you can really keep the flow organized. You know, you can have your prep area, your cooking area, or reverse your prep area and then lay your nice spread out here if you're having a family dinner or a party or anything going on. And then right over here, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you got your nice sink, which is separate from everything else. Because I think one of the problems in a crammed kitchen is you have the sink and the countertop that you cook on all in one area and you don't really have that much space. But everything is very well si separated and situated in here. So if you love to cook, this kitchen is something awesome that any cook would love to be in this kitchen making something. But let's go check out the master bedroom, master bathroom. And I would just call it a closet, but it is a master closet. And you guys will see that when I get over there because it is huge. 
So here we are, guys. We're at we're ending this video tour out in the best and my most favorite part of this house. This is the master bedroom. They have the furniture in there still, once again, so you can really get a feel for what this would look like if you actually had a king size bed. This right here is a king size bed, and even with this in the room, even with the dresser, the nightstand, the dresser with the TV on it, there is still so much space in here to offer, and it's a really great end to this walkthrough tour. But the grand finale is coming up next. It's right behind the camera. It's the master closet, the master bathroom. Let's go check it out. So like I was saying, guys, this is, a, this is a master closet. It's almost like its own room. Like, it's got a bench in the middle, so if you're getting ready, you can sit down, you can tie your shoes, put your socks on, really, whatever you want to do. It almost reminds me of, like, those fancy stores, how they have, like, the areas where you go and they, like, fit you for a suit, and they, like, tailor all your clothes and stuff. But this closet's awesome. It's one of a kind. It's something that you definitely don't see in a lot of houses. And it's a great feature to tie into this house that makes it stand out and it makes it unique from anything else that I've seen so far. Let's go check out this master bathroom because it's going to blow you away. All right, guys. So in my opinion, this right here is the finale to this video tour, this property walkthrough. You got your his and her sink in this huge master bathroom. And this bathtub right here, I mean, I talk about it all the time. I take pictures in bathtubs because I really love bathtubs. And this one right here, it is huge. It's a heart-shaped bathtub. It's got the jacuzzi jets. And then look at this shower back here. I mean, this shower, you could have, you could have a party inside of the shower. Like, I'm standing in the shower, but the part where you actually get wet and take the shower is all the way over here. You got this awesome, nice glass to really open it back up into the bathroom. You got this beautiful Delta shower head. You got your nice little bench over here that you can sit on or dry off, whatever you gotta do. But this bathroom is just amazing. I mean, look at this bathtub. I'm getting in it because I need to show you guys how big this is. Like, you could, you know, it's just so massive. You can sit down in it. You know, just relax, flip the jets on, and after a long days of work, a nice hot bath, soak yourself in, flip the jets on, loosen those muscles up, loosen those knots up. This bathroom is awesome. <clears throat> like, I don't think I don't think there's anything else I do to this bathroom to make it better than it is, just because it's so big, it's so unique, and that's what we're gonna end this video tour at because I wanted, I always like to save the best for last. And I think in my opinion, this bathroom, master closet, master bathroom combination is the finale of this house. This house is beautiful all in all, but this part right here, I love this. I love the master bathroom, it's unique. There's so many things in this house that are unique and when they all tie together, they just make it something special. And it's just amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video walkthrough. I'm trying to get a little bit better with the camera. I still need a camera person. So if anybody knows someone who does, you know, videography stuff or whatever it's called, come and let me know. Or if you do it, comment below, like, subscribe, share. If you know anyone who's in the real estate or interested in it, show them the channel, have them like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you guys want to see. If there's anything you want me to do, any kind of videos you want me to do, let me know down below. But I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend and I will talk to you guys next time.